Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to Juniper IPv6 lab number 5, Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS Basics. If this network diagram looks familiar to you, that's because we have used this in some of our previous IPv6 labs. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build on top of that uh, network diagram. We have just a few things changed. You're going to see in here that we have the net address, which is the 49 address for both R1 and R2. We also added another IPv6 loopback, which is the 22 on R2 and the 11 on R1. We're running logical tunnels between two different logical systems. If you're not familiar with logical systems, uh, you can watch. I have two logical systems videos on my Juniper Series 1 that shows you everything that you need to know to get them configured. So what we have already done is on R1 and R2 we have the basic the interfaces have been configured we're running frame relay encapsulation between these two routers we have the logical tunnels already built between R1 and R2 we have the IPv6 addressing already done on R1 we have the loopback already created same with router 2 And so let me go ahead and just explain also some of the, the network diagram, if this is your first time seeing this. We have between R1 and R2, the 2001 12 12 12 double colon forward slash 64 with router 1 being the 1 and router 2 being the 2 IPv6 address within that network. On R1, we're, we have LT, the logical tunnel, um, as we can see you in the top right all logical tunnels equal lt120.xx for instance r1 is going to be lt120.12 and router 2 is lt120.21 and we're also using um, the link local ips we've ipv6 addresses we have changed to fe80 double colon 1 on all of r1's interfaces and r2 is fe FE80 double colon 2 slash 64. Now this is not required however in our IPv6 labs we're going to see when we're looking at the routing protocols and the adjacencies and doing show commands for verification this is going to help us more easily distinguish our neighbors. So let's go ahead and get that configured first on R1 we'll do we'll do set CLI logical system R1 that allows us to log into R1. We're going to do the command set interfaces LT120.12 family INET 6 address FE80 double colon 1 slash 64 and then also under let's see family I'm sorry under the loopback 0.1, loopback 0.1 on R1, we'll do family inet 6 address, and then the same FE80, double colon 1, slash 64. 